Now let's be honest with ourselves. People visit more websites than just Google and Facebook. So it's important as paid media marketers that we're staying in front of our users no matter what channel that they are on. This is why I want to talk about Reddit advertising today. It's a channel that not a lot of PVC people even talk about, yet it's one of the most visited websites in the entire world. Now if it's a newer channel for you, that's why I want to take a higher level approach to this demonstration. We're going to do a little 101 run through of what you can do within Reddit advertising and how you may want to reach your target audience. So let's dive in. If you are new to Reddit ads and you just signed up for an account, this is what your dashboard will look like, pretty blank. But eventually when you have some robust campaigns going, you'll be able to look at your campaigns, your ad groups, and your ads. But assuming this is brand new for everybody, let's just go and look at creating a new campaign. Now before we jump into campaign creation, we want to look at making sure that we can track some performance with how our ads are doing. You can look at doing this by adding your Reddit pixel, which is kind of teeny tiny on the left hand side. So if we click on it, you're going to get step by step instructions on how you can add the Reddit pixel. The easiest way to do it is to go over to Google Tag Manager. And while these instructions are pretty much going to be the same for every advertiser, except the advertiser ID, which I have blocked out, is going to be different for each unique account. So let me show you how to add the Reddit pixel within Google Tag Manager. It's a little bit different than how we add any of the other paid social pixels. Typically, we're used to going to the tag section right away and then choosing a default template or just adding the custom HTML. Reddit's instructions are a little bit different, and you'll be able to notice it if you just backtrack a little bit and see those step-by-step -step instructions that Reddit has. To start off, we need to go to Templates. And then we need to choose the search gallery option. Next, look for Reddit. And you will see the Reddit pixel, which is officially by Reddit, is the only option. So we can select that one. Click Add to Workspace. And then click the Add option. Now we can go back to our tag section. Add a new tag. I'm just going to title it Reddit Ads. And now for tag configuration, we can see the Reddit pixel option is now a tag type within my account. I'm going to paste my ad ID. Still have to have it blurred out. And then you can choose when to fire the event. Right now, I just want to track all page visits. If you want to set up event tracking, which is going to be extremely important, if you want to track conversions coming from your Reddit ads, those are always an option. But just to keep things moving, we're going to keep it at page visit. Select all pages, and then you could save, and then eventually publish when you want. So it's really simple to set up the Reddit ads pixel. Now let's just jump back into Reddit ads and continue setting up a campaign. Initially, after you name your campaign, we see a campaign objective. Now, this has become pretty common within more than just the paid social channels. We're now seeing Google and Bing also have campaign objectives, too. Now, within this year, Reddit officially announced CPC bidding. I know it's crazy to think that CPC bidding was not even a default option. For the most part, it was all CPM, or cost per 1,000 impressions. And when they announced this change, campaign objectives were also updated. So there are now five campaign objectives at the time of this video that advertisers can choose on Reddit. The first is brand awareness and reach, optimizing for reaching larger audiences, and this is where the CPM bidding is still in place. Traffic, pretty straightforward, driving traffic to your website, and you're going to pay on a CPC bid. If you configured your Reddit pixel within Tag Manager to record conversion actions and you're getting some consistent volume on your conversions, you may want to choose a conversions objective for some of your newer campaigns. You're still going to pay on a CPC bid, but then Reddit's going to look at optimizing the performance to try to reach users who are more likely to perform that same conversion action. Video views is the next one. This one is going off of a CPV model, cost per view. The goal here is similar to some awareness, but you're trying to get people to watch your video, not necessarily to drive traffic to your website. And then last is going to be app installs. Again, pretty straightforward, looking to see how many installs you can get from your mobile app. And this final objective is on a CPC or cost per click model. If you are newer to Reddit ads, Driving traffic is probably the most common one, especially with CPC bidding. It's probably one that you're going to feel most comfortable testing out. So for the sake of this video, we'll choose traffic as our campaign objective. And then click continue. And like typical PBC structure, we went from campaign level to now to the ad group level. After you have your ad group name, we can scroll down a little bit and start selecting our audience. Right off the bat, Reddit is going to show you if you want to be added to their expanded targeting option. And this box will automatically be checked. My advice to you is always start as narrow as possible. So uncheck this box. If you're not hitting the reach or frequency or you're not getting enough traffic that you want, then maybe consider checking that box again to expand the target audience. But for the meantime, let's keep it as tight as possible. So after this box is unchecked, start looking at adding your locations. The main form of location targeting in Reddit ads is by country. Only advertisers within the United States can narrow down their targeting to the state and possibly city level. We can also see there's an exclude option. So those location targeting rules by country and then again USA only for state and city level also apply at the exclusion level. I'm just going to pick my state really quick. But you should know that Reddit advertising is like every other ad platform we are familiar with. 
you do not select a location to target, your ads will be eligible to show worldwide, depending on what other targeting options we're gonna select to this campaign. So be very careful and make sure it's as specific as possible. Next up, we have interest targets. All the content on Reddit is bucketed into certain interests, and these are pretty broad from the get-go. With Reddit advertising, you can target users who have recently interacted with certain categories of content. And I just said a key phrase within that last sentence, recently interacted. This means we're not targeting users who are contextually on that page or on that piece of content at that moment. They have interacted with it at some point in the past. So this targeting option can seem pretty broad, and it kind of is, especially when you layer on some broader location targeting. Even when we break down some of the interest targetings into more specific categories, they still might be a little bit too broad for your exact business. There are only a couple dozen interest targeting options that we have right now. Let's look at travel options, for example. We get travel locations, but there's no additional options for me to click on it. Now, if you're only after customers for your resort in Florida, you don't want your ads to appear on pages about Mediterranean cruises or South American vacations. So interest targeting doesn't allow advertisers to get that specific. We have to go kind of at a higher level. So if you're worried about having too broad of targeting or you don't think you have a big enough budget to kind of tackle that broader target, we wanna go down to the communities level then. And I wish they would change the name of this targeting because this is pretty much subreddit targeting. Subreddits to me are the bread and butter of Reddit advertising because subreddits are forum categories that can go really deep and you can find very specific or niche little subcategories of your target audience that you may want to go after. Now the a rule still applies that we're going after users who have interacted at some point with that subreddit in the past. However, users can also subscribe to subreddits. So we can get people who are constantly interested in a specific theme or a specific topic and go after them with advertising as well. We're gonna to get to it later on, but I wanna preview that you may wanna take some sort of caution when looking at subreddits advertising, but we'll get to that very soon. It's pretty easy to search for your subreddits related to your business to see if any of the options show up just by searching under the target specific communities option. I've worked with a few clients in the past that sold coffee or coffee products. If I wanna to try to find a new community on Reddit with coffee, I can just look for it. And there are a variety of subreddits that I can choose to potentially target. I've also worked with fitness clients in the past. We can see the fitness subreddit has a lot of users. Now, if you think that is too broad, we can look at potentially breaking it down. Maybe I just wanna go after bodybuilding and we see a couple subreddit options there. I can look at weightlifting. Then we can narrow our targeting a lot more when we're going after specific categories. I've had a client who sold farming equipment. And we can see there are a few farming subreddits. I've been able to find subreddits for SaaS industries, for banking, for finance. So just spend a little bit of time. It does not take that long at all to look at the subreddits that could really fit to your industry or the audience you are trying to reach. If you're not finding your desired subreddit populating within the campaign options, it just means there isn't enough volume for that subreddit to be eligible for targeting. This is a video about PPC, so I'm just going to select the PPC subreddit. Next, we can move on to device targeting. By default, your Reddit ad groups are going to target all devices. Advertisers do have the option to target either desktop only or mobile only if you choose. So this can give you additional options of how you may wanna break out your campaigns or ad groups if you prefer to do it by device. And if you are planning to run a campaign with the app installs objective like we talked about in the beginning of this video, you will only be able to target mobile users, which shouldn't be of any surprise, which is kind of hidden a little bit with a tiny little link under the device type category targeting. Think of this as ad scheduling for Reddit ads. We can select which hours of the day within the days of the week we want our ads to be shown. All you have to do is just click and drag to highlight a block of consistent hours, or you can click on any square one by one to choose random sets of hours. Reddit's time of day targeting works differently than Google Ads ad scheduling, which we may be more familiar with. Now with ad scheduling within Google Ads, it's based off of the time zone that was selected when creating your Google Ads account. With time of day targeting within Reddit ads, it's always going to be based on the user who is viewing your ad. So you don't have to make a ton of changes because you'll always have that user's time zone in mind. Next, you can go down and select your budget. In this option, remember, we chose the traffic objective. So this is on a CPC model, so you can choose your bid. And then you could choose to have your start and end dates if you want, or by default, your ads are going to continuously run starting from when you launch the campaign. Next, we get to the point where we wanna create our ads. First, name your ad, but now look at the post type. We can choose to either have a link post or we can have a video post. Let's go through the setup of each option so you can get an understanding of what that ad would look like. Let's just say I wanna promote one of my recent blogs. So I'm gonna paste the URL, I'm gonna put in my title, I'm going to select my image. I just wanted to pick a random fun image, but Reddit does recommend the 1200 by 628 size that we typically use on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Quora. Then we can choose a call to action. And then I can get a preview of what my ad will look like on mobile, but then also desktop. 
Let's switch it up a little bit. Let's say I wanted to do a video post. My title will stay the same. I'm still gonna use the URL. I've uploaded my video. My call to action is the same, and now we can look at the preview. First by desktop, and then by mobile. So there's one option I wanna go back up and discuss, and that's this little button right here if you wanna allow comments on your Reddit post, and that's gonna be your promoted Reddit post, so pretty much your ad. Reddit ads are a different beast in the PVC world. There are some subreddit cultures that you really need to take time and research what they like to see within that specific subreddit. If you're showing an advertisement that is not appealing or not involved or not directly to that specific subreddit culture, your ad can get torn apart. And that's exactly what you don't want if you wanna look at building your brand. So yes, we encourage you to do your research to make sure that you're fitting in within that culture of that subreddit but it's still gonna be up to you if you wanna allow users to comment on that Reddit post. Sometimes comments can really help the nature of your ads, but also we've seen comments really hurt the performance of your ads. So be very careful if you wanna allow comments on your specific promoted post. Personally, I like the image option better. Then I'm gonna review it, and then I can submit my post. Now we can see my new campaign within the dashboard, and then once you have your billing information filled in, you'll be able to start running your ads. Now I understand this was a pretty brief run through, we only went through one campaign objective and I only showed you how to create one ad type. But hopefully you get an understanding of what you can do within Reddit advertising. And now I show you a little bit of the differences and the subtleties of how the targeting options works with Reddit versus some of the other channels. So take some time, look to see if your target audience may or may not interact with your brand on Reddit. It at least gives you some alternative channels to try so you're not just using Google and Facebook over and over again. So if you had success with Reddit, let us know in the comments below and hopefully we can help other advertisers test out different PPC platforms. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 